In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the customized website view. To receive notifications about new tutorials and our weekly live stream, be sure to click the subscribe button. To begin, you'll want to hover over website at the top of the page and go to customize website. This will take you to the home page. In the top left corner, you can see the page you are currently working on. You can click on Preset to redesign your entire site in a few simple clicks using our design templates. Layouts control the composition of your page. The home page has 25 options. Themes control the colors and fonts used on your website. You can choose a different preset which comes with its own theme, create your own, or edit the current theme. Next, the content section will control the images that are displayed on your site. Depending on your layout, this could be background, spotlight, or grid content. Under options, you can show or hide your page elements, upload a logo, and edit your welcome message. Clicking draft preview will open up a preview of your website in a new tab. Restore will allow you to discard all of your unpublished changes or restore to a previously published version of your site. Clicking publish will make the changes that you've made go live. You can customize the navigation of your website in the Edit Site Menu section. If you're using a site header, you can change the settings here. You can switch up the layout and add a logo as well. Site footer settings are located here. In site settings, you can do things like edit your breadcrumb settings, enable or disable the favorites feature, turn on your mobile site, or change the language of your website. Click here to be taken back to your dashboard. In the photo section of your dashboard, you can get into the customized website view as well, but navigate directly into a group or gallery in this view. To do that, you'll want to go into the group or gallery and click the preview button at the top of the page. Once here, you can hover over the edit button at the top of the screen. You'll want to click on the particular area you want to edit in this gallery. If you're not sure where you want to start, you can click on any of these options and close out when it first appears. Galleries have three different page types. To navigate between them, click on the drop-down menu in the top left corner. Thumbnail pages will display all of the images in a photo grid, while the photo page focuses on a single image. Gallery slideshow pages will show all of the images in a slideshow format. On any of these pages, if you make any changes, Clicking Save as Default will apply these settings to all of your galleries, as long as they are set to use the default settings. This is Kayla with Sinfolio Customer Support. Thanks for watching and good luck with customizing your website.